Well, as the temperatures begin to drop, many organizations are opening their doors or expanding their hours of operation, helping the homeless across Central Texas. Fox 44's Kendall Green went to the Salvation Army to speak with them about their warming centers. He joins us in the control room. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Adam, being indoors on a cold night like tonight is something many of us would take for granted, but Salvation Army is making sure that that's something that many of us can actually utilize. With the early onset of winter weather, the Salvation Army is opening the doors of its warming center. Anytime the temperature drops beneath 40 degrees, they welcome all in need of shelter from the cold. With low temperatures expected early on this week, the Salvation Army is anticipating a swell of traffic with those needing resources. They are able to come in and, uh, and we'll put them in beds, we'll put them on cots, we'll put them in sleeping bags, whatever it takes to get them out of the elements and into a place that's safer and warmer. Jim Taylor with the Salvation Army shares what an impact their extended services are making for Central Texas in need this season. In weather like this, uh, this could save someone's life by letting them uh, have a place to go that is not in, so exposed to this winter weather. As they've opened their doors much earlier than usual, they've been met with overwhelming gratitude. People are grateful uh, when we're able to open up the doors and allow them to come in, especially in the daytime, like a day to day where so many places are closed because it's a holiday. Now they're asking folks in Central Texas to help them out by donating to the shelter so they can continue to help those who need it. He goes to name a few of the high priority items they need. Blankets, coats, uh, socks, gloves, hats, scarves, all those kind of wintry uh, things that, that maybe you don't think about early November. <laughs> Those of you who want to donate, they're asking folks to stop by their facility located on 300 Webster Avenue in Waco. But for now, reporting in the control room, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.